Over 45 years ago, the IRCM was born from the idea that the future of Quebec medicine is in the hands of doctors who will combine their clinical skills with the knowledge acquired from biomedical research. At the time, Dr. Jacques Genet was determined to group together clinical research departments as they were too often dispersed in various sectors of a hospital and to promote frequent interaction between researchers. As a result, in 1967, the first research center in Quebec to bring together basic researchers and clinicians under the same roof was inaugurated. From then on, the Institute's exceptional team has been made up of renowned researchers such as André Barbeau, Michel Chrétien, and Jean Davignon. I've had the privilege of working at the Institute for 45 years. So I was in a position to be there at its birth and to follow its evolution over so many years. Translational research, or the transfer of knowledge from the basic research laboratory to the patient benefiting from clinical research, was not only the IRCM's founding concept, but continues to be an extremely relevant model. The model was an integrated module of clinical research and biomedical research, fundamental research. And their interaction was the key issue. As a matter of fact, the basis for that was really to be able to take a problem at the bedside and to bring it to the lab to find a solution, and then take that solution and apply it to the patient, if need be, or even to the community, if possible. This interaction between fundamental researchers and clinical researchers is largely responsible for the IRCM's success. Imitated by numerous other research centers, it has proven to be the way of the future for biomedical research. At the time, clinical researchers at the IRCM focused on high blood pressure and cholesterol. In recent years, the Institute's translational research has expanded to include metabolic diseases such as diabetes, obesity, and diet problems, which are increasingly important in Western societies. Since its foundation, the IRCM has also actively contributed to progress in all its research fields, including not only cardiovascular and metabolic diseases, but also cancer, viral infections, the nervous system, and systems biology. As such, the IRCM plays a leading role in Quebec's influence throughout the scientific world. According to the Institute's founder, it was crucial for laboratory directors to have complete freedom in regards to the management of their research units. The RCM's management continues to respect these founding principles in order to maintain an environment in which scientists can conduct first-rate research projects. You shouldn't forget that research is a creative process. Uh, for a creative process to happen, you need freedom. And here the researcher has their own laboratory, they are the, own, they are the masters of their projects, and uh, as the director I don't interfere directly with their research project. And this idea of Jacques Genet I think was critical for the success of RCM. It's a unique model, still valid today. Recent discoveries are transforming medicine and healthcare, and are offering hope where it seemed impossible only a few years ago. The IRCM's dream is that innovative research will help improve our society's well-being. Well, I certainly hope that uh, 45 years from now we'll have the same fundamental principles still um, working for us. The RCM is still there, thriving research institute, and we have made several discoveries that have contributed to the eradication of the worst diseases that we see today in our societies. The IRCM is among the leading research centers in Canada. By attracting the best researchers and training high-caliber scientists, it is well-positioned to meet tomorrow's challenges. Yes.